Hi guys, Chu here from Pro Drones again. So um, I've shown you the unboxing of the L1 and we went through the features. So now we're going to take the L1 and going to fly in the field. We'll be sharing the data with you later, but just to show you how it's going to work in the field. So the setup is very straightforward. Uh, in here, we've uh, basically load DJI Pilot, tap a mission flight, create a route, and it depends what kind of motion, mission you want to do. So in this case, it's a linear flight mission because we're scanning a corridor. Uh, select the camera as an L1 LiDAR mapping. Just select the area. Of course, as usual, you'll have to set your altitudes and overlap. Also, you might have to define what kind of returns you're going to get. Uh, apart from that, it's very straightforward. Just make sure you have enough memory in the card and if it's okay, it automatically generates everything for you including the calibration parts. And once the sensors all warmed up, you can upload and then get ready to take off. Okay, so we've set up the system. Um, the LiDAR is on the M300. Right? And we have a DRTK tool. We've set to a known point. We've already got the fixed port, uh, RTK fixed coordinate for that. And uh, we're about to start the automated flight mission. Right, so it's already pre programmed. Um, let's see what happens. Now, the first part of the mission is it will then take off to go for calibration. So in calibration, uh, depending on which mission you choose, if a linear and oblique, it will fly this figure of 8. If you do mapping, it will fly back and forth 3 times. If you use the figure of 8 mode, it will fly twice this figure of 8 for calibration purposes. So this is to make sure the IMU is properly synced with the RTK data as well. And uh, once you have all this ready, it will automatically start flying the route. So you see the second figure of eight is complete. So it starts the mission. Now when you're flying, um, once the data capture has started, you can see for the payload, this is the RGB feedback. right? So you, it's actually taking pictures and videos at the same time. Now on the left, we see SBS. SBS stands for side by side. You can see this LiDAR data or with the SBS, you'll see the LiDAR and the RGB side by side. You can also have a point cloud preview, like what you see on the screen. And then you can change what you see on the screen by having either, in this case, it's by height, or you can have by RGB colorization, or in terms of reflectance. This is RGB mode. This is height. So you can see in real time what's going on. Uh, you won't miss out on, you can figure out like, for instance, if you missed a patch, you know, you need to get your data some more in certain areas. At least you have a rough idea instead of having to post-process everything and then realize, oops. Now, once everything is done, basically you automatically return to home and then uh, the landing process will then begin. So in this case, we have a DRTK2 all the time. So you can see it coming down at the end of the mission. Now there's no special um, data capture thing to do. Basically, just shut it down and you're done. Thank you for joining us. 
Uh, remember to like and subscribe for more updates. Uh, and as always, like safe.